Greetings and welcome to Action for Healthy Kids webinar on Let's Get Moving. This is one in a series of short webinars designed for busy families. Parents have limited time but want to make a difference. Things can get complicated with schedules, extra activities, homework. Just getting everyone where they need to be on time is challenging. But we need to keep in mind the importance of eating healthy and being active to every aspect of our children's lives. Eating healthy and being active impacts our kids' ability to learn, to grow, and to be successful. So we've developed some ways to help parents. Make it simple, take small steps, and begin a journey for health that will lead to all kinds of good results. This short webinar will focus on why we need to get moving and be active, and we'll give you some great ideas on how you can do just that. People who are active typically feel better, accomplish more, and live longer. To get healthy, we need to get moving. Plus, the more we move, the more calories we burn. Maintaining a healthy weight is all about measuring energy in and energy out. If we want to treat ourselves to a yummy dessert on occasion, we need to keep in mind how much activity it will take to burn off those calories. Fortunately, exercise is a fun thing to do as a family. So, what are some easy ways to get you and your kids moving more? Today, we are a lot less active than we were 20 years ago. Parents are afraid to let their children play outside. They don't ride bikes or play ball until dark in most neighborhoods like we might have growing up. There are so many things to keep them indoors like video games, computers, and television shows. Our children sit more and it's ruining their health. But how much exercise do they need? A simple way to look at it is energy in and energy out. What you eat is measured in calories, which is food energy or energy in. The amount of activity it takes to burn off those calories is the energy out. It would take about two hours to work off just one 20 ounce soda. Let's add a small bag of cheese puffs to that soda. How much time do you think it would take to walk off those cheese puffs? There are 120 to 170 calories in a serving of cheese puffs. About nine, and who stops at nine? Added to the 240 calorie soda, at 360 calories, it would take about three hours of walking. How about a cup of cherry tomatoes instead for only 27 calories? You could add a tablespoon of ranch dressing for 70 calories and still have a snack for under 100 calories. There are so many different types of physical activity. What do you do? How long? How often? Different studies recommend different amounts, but the national recommendation for children is 60 minutes per day of moderate to vigorous physical activity and for adults, a minimum of 30 minutes of moderate intensity physical activity per day most days of the week, such as brisk walking. It doesn't have to be all 60 minutes at one time, but you do want to get the heart rate up to get the maximum benefit and strengthen the heart and lungs. And if you work at a desk, be sure you get up every hour or two and walk around. At home, don't let your children sit longer than an hour without moving. Whether they're working on homework, watching TV, or playing games, they need to get up and move around. Sometimes the biggest problem is finding time to be active. Working out at a gym is great, but it costs money and time. Getting a friend to join you for a walk is great, but sometimes you can't match up schedules. So you need to find ways you can put activity into your day every day. Why park right next to the store? Park a little farther away. Skip the elevator if you work in a building with stairs, or if you don't want to climb 10 flights, walk up three and then catch the elevator. Try doing knee bends or side kicks while you brush your teeth. Just ignore your children when they roll their eyes. You'll see them doing it in a few days. How much time do you spend on the phone? Can you walk and talk? Don't try to walk on busy streets and talk on your phone, but if you are in your home, do some laundry while you're talking, or just walk around the house. Walk out in the yard. You won't even know you're exercising. Many workplaces are encouraging employees to be more active and offer incentives, but even if your work is not there yet, you can still take a break and go climb those stairs or walk around your building a few times, up the street and back. Keep a pair of comfortable shoes under your desk for these quick trips. It would be great if we could all walk or bike to work, but that's not always feasible. Maybe you take the bus. If so, Get off a stop early and walk the rest of the way. If you're going shopping, park at the door farther away from your favorite store or plan to walk the mall as part of your shopping day. Remember to keep up the pace. You have to get your heart rate up to burn those calories. 
This is the one that drives my kids crazy. Get mom or dad dancing. Laughter is also good, and while you're burning those calories, you'll be happier and feeling healthier. And you've probably worked up an appetite. What are you going to reach for as a reward? Candy? Cookies? Did you burn off enough calories? How about some fruit or some raw veggies? A cup of apples is only 65 calories. A cup of orange is 85. Carrot, a large carrot, has only 5 calories. And of course, be sure and get a big glass of water. So if you've added up the minutes from the suggestions we've made, you would have over one hour of physical activity. Not that hard. Just think about the easy ways you can add some activity into your day. And the more you do, the more you're going to want to do. It's easy to put off till tomorrow what you didn't start today. How many people plan New Year's resolutions but never follow through? I have. But if you're scheduled time to be active, like you schedule a doctor's appointment, or time to get your hair cut, you'll be more likely to make it happen. If you're a morning person, make 5.30 to 5.45 your time for yoga or Zumba. Picking up kids in the afternoon? Schedule in a stop at the park for 30 minutes, and you can walk while they swing. Start with one day a week, and once it becomes routine, you will find yourself adding other days. And if you miss a day, be sure and reschedule for another time during the week. There are some great programs at your school to help your children be active. The CATCH program in Austin, Texas, started Get Your 60 to encourage kids to be active outside the school day. Wristbands were given out, and specific businesses offer reduced prices or even free opportunities to be active like free skate rentals, free entry to the family YMCA, even free bowling if you come in wearing your wristband. You can work with your community to find ways for the kids to be active. Another good idea is to hold open gym before school. Some middle and high schools even let kids use the gym or outside facilities during lunch. Encourage your kids to take advantage of these times to be active if they're available. It can help them do better in school. What else can you do? It would be great to check in with your school and make sure your kids are getting the required physical activity time while they're there. Since kids spend half their young lives in school, it is important that part of the 60 minutes per day of being active occurs during school time. And being active in school will help keep them stay focused and learning. Research shows that kids who are fit have higher test scores. And teachers report that when kids have had time to be active, they are less disruptive and there are fewer discipline problems. Also, it's important for your kids to see you being active. Whether it's taking a walk, bowling, or biking, the more active you are, the more likely they will be to build activity into their day. Take a walk with your kids and talk to them about how being active can make them feel better, sleep better, and be healthier. You may be surprised when you hear them telling their friends why they are jumping up and down during commercial breaks while watching television. It's important to walk the walk and talk the talk. Talk to your kids and help them understand how important it is to be active. Ask questions like, would you rather play a sport or watch one? And listen to their answers. I hope we've given you a few new ideas on how to get more activity into your day and your kids' day, and given you a few facts you can share with your kids. For more information, go to actionforhealthykids.org. We have a handout with even more ideas on getting moving. And check out your state team page while you're there. Thank you and have a healthy life.